Okay, so Apple Books is a really great ebook reader app for iPhone and iPad. And in Apple Books, you can do highlights and notes while you're reading a book. So here we have a book. So let's say that I want to highlight this text, for example, Grace Land and Memphis and Las Vegas stickers. Then I can just mark it like this. And here in the menu that shows up, you can choose either to make a note or highlight. So let's choose highlight like so. And here you can change the colors of the highlight if you want. Let's say that you think this is very important, then you can have it red like this. And you can also, while reading a book, make a note somewhere you want. So let's say that you want to be making a note about this. So let's highlight the text you want to make a note about like so and now just choose note in the menu like so now you see the text that you have highlighted before shows up as a quote now you can type some text so for example this is a note. As you can see there, this is a note. Now I just tap done. Now I made a note about this highlight of this text. And if I want to read that note, I can click on that small icon there to read my own note. You saw that, the small icon there. So this is a way you can do both notes and highlights quite easily in Apple Notes. I really like that. But now if you want to export all these highlights and notes, how to do that? Well, that's quite easy too. You can either uh, export one highlight or many or all in a book. Just tap on the display so you get this small menu then click on that now here you see the contents you have the all the chapters and so on you have your bookmarks you have your notes at the top as you can see there here we have all the notes from this book and the highlights from this book as you can see here if you now want to share this you can share by tapping the share button now you see share book or edit notes so i click on edit notes now i can click down here select all or a specific specific highlight or note i can click like so and so if i want only those but if you select select all here now you can share all your highlights and notes down below all the ones you want either by selecting them manually or select them all and then just click share you can't select any other app when you have selected all the notes and highlights than mail you can't do that sadly though i think that's how uh, with copyright to do so if you have select all notes you can only share with mail so here you go as you can see here i have all my notes in a beautiful mail that i can send to myself or any other actually so this is pretty nifty i think but if we go back and cancel this and only want to share one specific highlight you can do this but just click on the highlight you want to share like so and then click on the share button like this now you can share to 
more apps than mail as you can see so let's say you can share to apple notes now you see that you have your highlight and your note ready to store in apple notes so just click save and you have shared that to yourself in the apple notes quite easily to do now if you want to go back to your highlights then you can choose this highlight now you can add that actually to the same note in apple notes so you just click on your highlight and click share again now click to apple notes here at the top you can actually choose the same note that you have already shared to like this so now you can share to the same note as before click save quite easy to do now let's open apple notes and see how the note looks like here you have the note as you can see your quotes your highlights your notes and as you can see apple adds the copyright text there this material may be protected by copyright so don't share it so you can share specific highlights one at a time to an apple note quite easily or you can share all your highlights in a mail to yourself or someone else quite easy to do so that was how you can create and share export your highlights and notes from apple books on iphone and ipad okay bye Thank you.